hello student welcome in my class today i explain you chapter 14 statistics in the statistics of a part 1 in this part 1 students i explain you one of the major topic mean of group data yes students mean of group data now let's start mean of the group data there are generally total three methods first method mean for the direct method find out sigma fi xi upon sigma fi yes students mean is indicate here x bar here first letter is reading you x bar sigma is indicate sum of the all observations with fi xi upon sigma fi means summation of all frequencies otherwise we also utilize this formula sigma fi xi upon sigma fi does both meaning are same second method if you using the assuming method x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di upon sigma fi students here a indicate assume mean don't worry i explain what is the assume mean properly in these solutions just we return the assuming method the formula x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di upon sigma fi students here di is indicate deviations yes deviation also i explain in the numericals and the third method using the step deviation method is same formula but students here only return a plus sigma fi ui upon sigma fi into h h is indicate class length yes students h is indicate class length so in the mean of the group data generally here three method we applying one by one any one method you utilize in the numerical students answer is same coming as you like any one method apply for the first method either second assuming method either third the step deviation method now i start the little sum for mean of the group yes example 1 marks obtained given 10 to 95 and number of the students given fi fi means frequency so first of all i written in the column wise our question mark and number of the frequency students you first of all all frequency added 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 and that getting surely it is a summation called 30 Yes, students. Here yes, summation means you added the all frequency data is called sigma fi. Yes, sigma fi is called your summation of all frequency number, and that become here thirty. Now I first go to our first method, direct method, fi into xi. Students, fi into xi it means ten into one, it is ten. Twenty into one, it is twenty. Thirty six into three, one zero eight. 14 to 4 160 15 to 3 150 that like you all multiply till up to last 95 into 1 it is 95 and all data you added one by one is called sigma fi xi yes sigma means nothing students you added the all datas and these all values apply by our first formula sigma fi xi upon sigma fi and value known 1779 by 30 now you divided by till up to one either two decimal you getting 59.3 marks that is your mean of the given 30 students marks data yes happily done now i go to question number 2 in the question number 2 percentage of the female teachers given and number of the state ut given it is a class interval given see the students 15 to 25 25 to 35 it means what six number of the states are percentage of the female teachers 15 to 25 now i given question same as write down in the column wise and adding to all frequency data sigma fi 6 plus 11 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 sure it getting 35 is your all summations now i go to first table xi students xi means here indicate it is your summation between female 
teachers percentage value given 15 plus 25 both plus divided by 2 if you return 15 plus 25 both plus it means it is a 40 40 by 2 means 20 same as second 25 plus 35 both plus by 2 it is a already written mid value value either class marker students same is third written 35 plus 45 both plus by 2 it is 40 answer is 10 10 10 moving ahead so you just only added 10 10 10 plus and next one i going to first method di yes students di is indicate here deviations deviation method wise apply i see students in the xi total 3 and 3 and 1 total 7 values are given in the xi column you find out always middle value yes students middle value is called your always assume mean here 50 is your assume mean and another value apply xi minus 50 it means 50 minus 20 it become minus 30 50 minus 30 it become next minus 20 similarly 40 minus 50 is minus 10 now 50 minus 50 is 0 60 minus 50 is 10 that like all and next column is there your ui table ui means nothing xi minus assume mean upon class length yes students your class length is moving here 10 10 look at the first table 15 to 25 25 to 35 35 to 45 all goes are the 10 10 gapping therefore your class height is 10 and apply the raw value you getting the minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and your final answer to the table preparing fi into xi yes students look at the fi table means number of states utfi and xi is your given xi so both you multiply students this numerical i explain by three methods huh? read the question all the three methods discuss in this questions okay so direct method also i apply assuming method also apply and one of the step deviation students as you like in exam any one method you apply so fi xi total apply and get the addition secondly column fi di means fi and di product means 6 into minus 30 become minus 180 11 into minus 20 become minus 220 7 into minus 10 become minus 70 4 into 0 0 that like all calculate 1 into 30 and finally is all the additions apply sigma fi xi and fi di and last of the fi into ui because here three method explaining in exam if you three method do then applying fi xi fi di and fi ui okay now i operate the first to the formula by first table sigma fi ready sigma fi xi ready sigma fi di ready and sigma fi ui ready so first method using direct method students i again repeat you in exam you only declare by the first method either second either third uh, any one method you apply now value put it and getting answer 39.71 second method is a uh, using assume in method yes students assume in method means you assume the value already i assume the value a you know that in the table it is 50 and other value fi di minus 360 upon sigma fi is 35 calculate and finally is the answer 39.71 look at that students answer is same coming and the third one same as by step deviation method only h height is extra in the fi ui upon sigma fi well you put it and calculate answer sure your answer is 39.70 means finally in the all three method utilize your answer is same yes students if you in exam asking only direct method utilize so you only calculate direct method sigma fi xi same as to assume in method and same as to step deviation method yes i move ahead next one example 3 number of the wickets players and number of the ballers so given values i show in the table wise and total sigma fi apply first and after that mid value find out xi yes students xi is indicate mid value means look at that the first table 20 plus 60 both plus divided by 2 
means 80 divided by 2 you getting 40 same as second 60 plus 100 both plus divided by 2 means 160 divided by 2 you getting 80 similarly further moving 40 40 additions and one by one you just applying till up to 350 plus 450 both plus divided by 2 it is 800 divided by 2 your answer is 400 now I go to any one method applied I going to DI DI means deviation so before start deviation students you must be find out what is the assume mean look at that in question what is the middle value yes middle value is there are two middle values one of the 125 and one of the 200 students as you like any one you taking as you mean either 125 either 200 both values any one you taking sure your last answer is same coming here I taking as you mean 200 and calculate di xi minus as you mean a and as you mean a is here 200 so my answer is minus 160 minus 120 minus 75 0 100 and 200 and next column ui di by 20 yes 20 is your values for your only for gapping it means you are the heights value and finally you are getting F ui into fi means fi into ui so your second column fi and last column ui multiply and add them all you getting minus 106 yes students minus 106 and with all value applying by the formula wise x bar equal to a plus assuming wise a plus h into sigma fi ui upon n and this all value apply and further calculate sure your answer is 152.89 yes students that's my last answer so further calculate in exercise 14.1 i go to first sum here number of the plants given and number of houses which method did you use for finding the mean as you like there are three methods direct method step deviation method and one of the another method for assuming method so you first of all apply the given question xi and fi in the table wise and make them total additions of fi means total you added by the numbers for fi is a 20 now i find out mid values mid value necessary yes students number of the plants 0 plus 2 by 2 means 2 1 2 plus 4 by 2 means 3 4 plus 6 by 2 it means 5 that like all you calculate last 12 plus 14 by 2 it become 13 assume mean necessary you calculate now look at that in xi total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what is the center value yes center value is your 7 value so you taking assume in method either first of all method applying i here fi into xi direct method students any one method you apply don't worry fi into xi 1 1 is 1 2 3 is 6 1 5 is 5 5 7 is 35 that like all you added and you getting 162 it is sigma fi into xi now i go to first of all method first method direct method sigma fi means summation of frequency and sigma fi xi is a summation of fi xi and putting the formula sigma fi xi by sigma fi value is a 162 by 20 yes it is 8.1 plants your answer yes students happily done now i go to next question number two daily wage is given 100 to 120 120 to 140 and number of the workers given 12 14 8 6 10 you just added the all frequency value and utilize our formula xi upper class limit plus lower class limit by 2 students here class height i mean class size 100 to 120 120 to 140 it means 20 20 gapping that's why i taking 20 20 gapping huh? now daily wages and number of the workers total you added 50 and first i defined utilize see the in the above formula xi mid value either center value means 100 plus 120 by 2 means total 220 by 2 it is 110 
that like all you calculate till last 180 plus 200 it become 380 by 2 it is 190 and assume in method after that you taking di xi minus as you mean students you if you calculate fi xi method then also same answer carry and deviation method wise them also same answer okay now i go to your assume in method xi minus 150 because 150 is my assume mean so 110 minus 150 minus 40 130 minus 150 minus 20 itself 150 minus 150 it is zero next 170 minus 150 20 and 190 minus 150 it become 40 so finally are done our di value and next ui di by 20 20 is your class size so all di value you divided by 20 and final calculate fi into ui yes students look at that in the second column fi and last column ui both of the product you So twelve two za twenty four, fourteen one za fourteen, eight into zero zero, six into one six, and ten into two twenty, and total you added sigma f i u i it become minus twelve, and this minus twelve value I indicate here summation of sigma f i u i. Now I go. And this formula is the sigma f i fifty, sigma f i u i minus twelve. And my formula is a plus sigma f i u i upon sigma f i into h. H is a class size, means interval length. All value put it, and further calculate. Sure, you getting the answer one forty five point two. Yes, one forty five point two is your final answer. So therefore, mean daily wages of the workers of the factory. Is rupees one forty five point twenty rupees. Next one. Fourteen point one. Continue. Third question. Daily pocket allowances in rupees and number of the children. So very easy. X I calculate upper class limit plus lower class limit by two. And check your students. Your class size is a value already given two. And mean given eighteen. Find out the missing frequency f. Yes, students. Missing frequency related your question is IMP in the exam, ha? Huh? It is a IMP level questions. So in exam, already asking this question, ha? Huh? So missing level question is 19 to 21. F is missing. So don't worry, method is same. Daily pocket allowances and number of the childrens. So number of the children, if you added all, 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 13 plus F plus 5 plus 4, sure you getting 44 plus F. It is indicate sigma f i. Now I go to mid value, class mark either central value, either mid value. The all name is same, huh, students? So 11 plus 13 by 2. It is 24 by 2. Answer is 12. Same 13 plus 15 both plus by 2 means 28 by 2. It is 14. And 15 plus 17 both plus 32 by 2. It is 16. 17 plus 19 both plus by 2 is 18. Till last going up to twenty four. Now I moving ahead to di x i minus assume mean. Students here assume mean you taking always center value. Sometime two center value calculate. So you taking any one. But here only one center value. Look at that. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen is upper three. Twenty, twenty four, twenty two as a lower three. So what is the center value? Eighteen. And putting the values x i minus eighteen and last table. F I into D I, yes. Here U I not I calculate. Direct going F I into D I. So you getting all product and summation. Two F minus forty. Yes, students. F I into D I means seven into minus six, six into minus four, nine into minus two, thirteen into zero. F into two means two F. Five into four twenty. Four into six twenty four. Now I go to finally values. For the sigma f i forty four plus f and sigma f i u i is equal to two f minus forty and mean also I know mean is a eighty putting value eighteen eighteen cancel so two f minus forty by forty four plus f so two f is equal to forty f is equal to twenty 
here done students your frequency is defined only 20 now continue so missing frequency of the given data f is 20 answer now 14.1 question number 4 13 boomer women are given number of the heart at heartbeat per minute and number of the women given very easy find out the suitable method for the mean so i just apply same method xi for mid value class mark upper class limit plus lower class limit by 2 and class size is uh, only 3 because 65 to 68 68 to 71 71 to 74 students here only 4 4 4 i mean sorry 3 3 3 3 added now apply the question in the table wise summation fi total added it is 30 so first of all class mark 65 plus 68 both plus divided by 2 it getting 66.5 68 plus 71 both plus divided by 2 69.5 71 plus 74 both plus divided by 2 72 plus 5 72.5 same as move ahead now listen question xi is a total number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 what is the center yes center is a 75.5 and that i taking assume mean and calculate 66.5 minus 75.5 it become minus 9 second 69.5 minus 75.5 it become minus 6 same 72.5 minus 75.5 it become minus 3 same as going ahead and apply ui is a di upon class size class size is a h huh? it become 3 so final answer your fi into ui fi into ui means 2 into minus 3 minus 6 4 into minus 2 minus 8 3 into minus 1 minus 3 and total added sigma fi ui it become 4 yes students after that very easy so sigma fi ui it become your answer is only and only 4 finally sigma fi 30 fi ui 4 and formula apply value put it you get the easily answer it is become 75.5 plus 0.4 it is 75.9 Yes, students, 75.9 is our last answer. Therefore, I taking mean here beats per minute for this woman are 75.9 beats per minute. Next, continue. 14.1, question number 5. Number of the mangoes and number of the boxes. Find the which method you are applying by the mean. Very easy. So, first of all, class interval and fi. Students here class interval not in the continuous form given. That's why I return 49.5 to 52.5. Again I explain you 50 comma 52 next 53 comma 55. So students this data is not a continuous data. So you taking in the lower class limit minus 0.5 and in upper class limit plus 0.5. Then you getting 49.5 to 52.5, 52.5 to 55.5 that like. And all frequency you added 15 plus 110 plus 135 plus 115 plus 25 it become 400 now I go to central value central value is a xi xi means 49.5 plus 52.5 divided by 2 students if you not taking the interval class interval direct apply number of the mangoes 50 plus 52 by 2 answer is same coming it is 51 that like all you calculate and going to assume mean yes what is the assume mean center value of xi is called your assume mean what is the assume mean here 57 so 51 minus 57 minus 6 54 minus 57 minus 3 and 57 minus 57 itself it is 0 60 minus 57 3 and 63 minus 57 it becomes 6 and next moving ahead to ui is a di by 3 your value di by 3 why 3 return 3 is your class interval see in the all class interval gapping 3 3 only and last table 2 fi into ui means second column fi frequency table and ui is a second last table di by 3 value means 15 into minus 2 minus 30 110 into minus 1 minus 110 
वन थर्टी फाइव इंटू जीरो सेम वन वन फाइव इंटू वन एंड सेम ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू टू योर आंसर इज फिफ्टी टोटल एडेड यू गेटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड दिस ऑल वैल्यू इज अ समेशन सिग्मा एफ आई यू आई इट्स बिकम ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके नाउ अपलो अब फॉर्मुला इज नोन फॉर द मीन ए प्लस सिग्मा एफ आई यू आई अपॉन सिग्मा एफ आई इंटू एच एच इज योर इंडिकेट स्टूडेंट इट इज योर क्लास साइज आइदर लेंथ बिटवीन अपर लिमिट टू लोअर लिमिट वैल्यू पुटेड एंड है डन इट इज अ थ्री बाई सिक्सटीन जीरो पॉइंट वन एट सेवन फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी सेवन सो माई आंसर इज अ फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन एट सेवन फाइव सो एप्रोक्सीमेटली वी कैन से फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट नाइनटीन Yes, students, you have done our sums. So finally, I return mean number of mangoes kept in a packing box is fifty-seven point nineteen. It means students a per bag fifty-seven point nineteen. It means round about fifty-seven mangoes are present in this bag. Fourteen point one. Continue to sixth one. Daily expenditure and number of the household given same apply. First of all, xi upper class limit, lower class limit by two, and class size here fifty. Why students fifty? Look at that in question hundred to one fifty, one fifty to two hundred, two hundred to two fifty. It's all are going on, so it is class size is your fifty. And summation of fi it is twenty five. Now I going to xi. Xi means mid value. Yes, students already written the mid value formula, either class mark formula, upper class limit plus lower class limit by two, means hundred plus one fifty divided by two, so two fifty divided by two, it is one twenty five. Now easily you fifty fifty add it to all data, one twenty five plus one seventy five plus two two five plus two seventy five and three two five. Now what is the center value? Yes, center value is your assumed mean two two five, and going to di table x i minus two two five, and then after I move ahead u i di by fifty. Yes, last table f i into u i, f i second column and u i last column. You both of the multiply four two za minus eight five minus one five za twelve into zero two into one and two into two. Finally, you getting total summation. It become minus seven. And after that, I move ahead to in this formula from above table. Sigma f i known twenty five. Sigma f i u i known minus seven. And formula utilize and you getting the values after the putting all data. It is two one one. Yes, students. Answer is two two five minus fourteen. It is two one one. So finally, therefore. Mean daily expenditure on food is rupees two one one. I return next fourteen point one. Same is now concentration of SO two in ppm. Ppm means part per million. Yes, students and frequency already given. You just first of all added the all frequency value. Here class size is a zero point zero four. Huh, students, because the gapping to every class interval. 0.04 given and frequency you total added you getting 4 plus 9 plus 9 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 it is 30 and applying first of all mid value means class mark class mark means both plus divided by 2 0.00 0 0.04 both plus divided by 2 you getting 0.02 yes students 0.02 Now applying all both additions after that for the middle values for one of the assumed mean. Students, you check in XI how many total elements? Six elements. So assumed mean you taking two values, either point ten, either point fourteen. But as you like, point ten also true, and point fourteen is also true. I go to DI utilize the taking assumed mean point fourteen. And di table ready here. Now finally ui table di upon 0.04 and last value f i into ui. F i into ui means second column f i and last column ui. You multiply, you getting the total summation 
is a minus 31 n from the above table sigma fi 30 sigma fi ui minus 31 and utilize our standard formula mean a plus sigma fi ui upon sigma fi into height h and all value put it further calculate definitely you getting 0 0.099 ppm parts per million yes that's my little answer so finally i taking mean concentration of so2 so2 means sulfur dioxide in the air is 0 0.099 ppm parts per million 14.1 same question i going to eighth one now number of the days and number of the students same apply upper class limit plus lower class limit by two and your class length definitely students you check one of the one zero to six but six to ten it is not the same so i directly going to xi first xi means our central value class mark that taking both plus zero plus six by two three six plus ten by two means 16 by 2 8 same as you calculate 10 plus 14 by 2 24 by 2 means 12 see this class is not a continuous data but you just applying all values defined one by one now i go to next for di assume mean students what the assume mean central value of xi what is the center value yes it is 17 so 17 is your center value so 3 minus 17 minus 14 8 minus 17 minus 9 12 minus 17 minus 5 17 minus 17 it becomes 0 same 24 minus 17 7 33 minus 17 16 and 39 minus 17 22 and after the table same as fi into di yes students here not i taking height h value because h is not same in the all number of the days means class interval not same given so you cannot apply last formula utilized to h formula so fi into di and total you added minus 181 this formula so in above table sigma fi is 40 and sigma fi di is minus 181 and apply the values by the formula wise x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi into h not write down huh, students are you clear what is the difference between third formula and second formula in third formula h utilize if you class interval same given but in second formula class interval not utilized at any more and calculate the last answer 12.475 it's round figure 12.48 yes 12.48 is your my last answer therefore the mean number of days is 12.48 days for which students was absent means average it is 12.48 next 14.1 continue sum number 9 uh, literacy rate given and number of the cities given check here 45 to 55 55 to 65 65 to 75 all are class same given so apply class size h is equal to 10 Listen students, in previous numerical 8th one, they are not same. So I not utilize the H method. Here H method is utilized. So first of all apply number of the cities total 35. And utilize the XI. XI means class mark. Lower limit plus upper limit by 2. 45 plus 55 by 2. It is 50. Because 45 plus 55 is 100. 100 by 2 means 50. Same 55 plus 65 both plus divided by 2 it is total 120 divided by 2 60 now same as going 70 80 and 90 students now you say what is the center value yes it is 70 so 70 is your assume mean so your answer di xi minus 70 and value apply 50 minus 70 minus 20 60 minus 70 minus 10 70 minus 70 0 80 minus 70 10 and 90 minus 70 20 and last table ui di by 10 and finally fi into ui yes students fi means second column and ui means second last column both producted and total summation you getting value is minus 2 and apply the
So from the given above table, sigma fi 35 and sigma fi ui is minus 2 and apply my standard formula x bar equal to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h. Yes, happily putting all value and calculate by 20 divided by 35, 4 by 7 and it is 0 0.57. So your answer is 69.43. That's your final answer. So I taking here mean literacy rate is 69.43 percentage in these all cities. Okay. Yes. Done here students. Now I go to next. Yes students. Congratulations. Our year chapter 15 statistics part 1. You are done here. Yes students. Uh, statistics chapter part 1. Done. And uh, one of the little thoughts for you. Good things come to people who wait. But better things come to those who go out and get them. Yes, students, one more time repeat. Good things come to people who wait. But better things come to those who go out and get them. Yes, thank you very much. And thank you for seeing this video. And further explanation, part 2, I explain in the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. See you.